So, we continue with this module where we are going to uh, go ahead with input output analysis. In the previous uh, module, we looked at the basics of input output analysis, we looked at Leontief's initial formulation. We also said that in an economy, when we talk of a number of different sectors, an output of one sector is used in the other sectors and it is also then used to meet the final demand. When we look at this, this uh, and we sum up for each sector, we get a set of interactions between the different sectors and this is represented through the matrices that we create. We then for the input output, we said that the requirement of let us say steel for automobiles depends on the total output of the automobiles and these requirement this uh, correlation is assumed to be linear. So, with linear constants when we have the direct coefficients we create a matrix equation it is a set of linear equations uh, in the n variables and with that we can see that if the final demand for one our sector increases what happens to the rest of this. So, we then talked about two sets of coefficients. Uh, the direct coefficient which is the direct requirement um, let us say of steel for agriculture or steel for electricity or agri uh, agricultural output for chemicals uh, and then we have the total which is direct plus indirect and we did this by then creating the matrix, uh, creating the Leontief index uh, inverse matrix and then that relates to the final demand. So, that any change in final demand results in a corresponding requirement or a change in the output of the different sectors. When we created that matrix, we saw that the diagonal uh, element of that matrix is greater than 1, which is sort of intuitive because if we need a certain amount of final demand for steel, because of that final demand for steel to produce that we will need other chemicals we will need electricity for that chemicals and that electricity again we need a certain amount of steel. So, when we couple that up you will see that for uh, the diagonal elements will all be greater than 1. Uh, now, to take this forward just to illustrate this um, from the book by Miller and Blair on input output analysis I would like to just show you um, some examples of aggregate for a country input output tables and what they mean. So, this is uh, the US, uh, this is the A matrix which we talked about, this is A i j for the US and this is a 7 sector 7 by 7 matrix as you can see. If you look at this, let me just get the laser drawing, you can see uh, for agriculture from 1 to 1 is the agricultural products being used for agriculture. And then agricultural products being used for mining, for construction, for manufacturing, for trade, transportation, utilities, for services and for others. And similarly mining to this, manufacturing to variety of things and services going to variety of things and so you can see all of these are between 0 and 1 and this is the total. Now, when we take this A matrix, we can write down for this matrix, we can calculate I minus A and then take the inverse of that and that gives you the matrix which we are talking of. This is the inverse matrix that we are looking at and this is the L matrix. Okay. So, this is the matrix that we calculate. Uh, if you uh, look at this is the Leontief inverse that we are talking of. Now, if you see the diagonal elements, uh, agriculture is 1.26 which means that an increase in the final demand of agriculture by one unit results in a net overall requirement of increase in agricultural product by 1.26 because 
that an increase of agriculture requires all the other inputs from the other sectors which again in turn requires the amounts from the agriculture. So, you can see all the diagonal elements 1.26, 1.07, 1.0047, 1.34, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 
and this could be useful for instance if we were thinking in terms of instead of coal we go for renewables and we go for photovoltaics we can see the growth in the different two different sectors we can have an employment factor in terms of ratios and then see how many jobs are being created how many jobs are being lost uh, and so that that's an interesting way in which we can uh, look at that so oh, the, we could actually take for instance the uh, uh, ratios of this and then use that to then calculate what is the uh, amount of l l labor under different conditions. Um, we can uh, make a composite index of uh, energy for instance in the case of US we saw the uh, input output um, matrix for a particular year. We can also draw as we have seen in the initial lectures, we saw the Sankey or the energy balance diagram for the world and for India and these diagrams will represent the relative proportions of the different fuels and the flows in different sectors and this can be then converted into, so we could have the input output in terms of some sectors, the energy sectors. and non-energy sectors. So, we could create a hybrid input output table where your transaction mat matrix has energy units and money units. So, that then what happens is that when I have a transaction from energy to another sector, it will be in terms of the value add which is provided by steel. The steel, cement, uh, um, the other industrial sectors, chemicals, all of them are put in terms of millions of rupees or millions of dollars and the energy could be in uh, megajoules, petajoules uh, or in kilowatt hours. In the case of in the uh, Miller and Blair example, they have talked of it in terms of BTU and dollars, uh, British thermal units. So, when we have this kind of a, this is called a hybrid input output framework. Please remember this is equivalent to the same thing. We can take the hybrid, the energy terms, multiply it by the price and then convert it into the conventional input output table that we had seen earlier which would be everything in money terms and then we can see the amount of electricity uh, which is in money given uh, to uh, the industry sector. In the case of a hybrid system where you have energy, we can actually look at the energy use per uh, million rupees of steel produced. And so, this, this is uh, as long as we are consistent in terms of the units, we can otherwise go ahead and do the same kind of example. So, to just give you an example, this is again the example from the textbook and uh, there are <coughs> two things here. There are some output of some products which are called widgets and there is energy and then there is a final demand, final demand that we saw. Fi and then we have the total output. So, in this case, if you see, ten um, million dollars of widgets being used for the widgets, for making the widgets, and uh, ten million dollars of widgets being used for the 20 million dollars for the energy sector and 70 is the final demand for widgets. So, total when we add it up this is 100 million dollars and in this case it is 30, this is 40 and this is 50, this is 120. So, in quad, quad BTU this is given in terms of this can the same the same row can also be represented. Now, this is million dollars 
and this one is in quad BTU in energy units. This will be 60, 80, 100, 240. So, if you clearly see <laughs> it the this is equivalent to a price in terms of um, 30 by 60, the price is 0 0.5 million dollars per quad BTU. And one could operate this with the money terms, do the calculations after we get the final results, use this factor to get it into the energy term. So, we can move uh, seamlessly between energy and money. Uh, of course, another way is sometimes you operate with a hybrid uh, input output framework, but we just have to remember this, that these coefficients will have then units. In the case, in the normal case, the AIJs are all ratios uh, which are in terms of uh, uh, between 0 and 1 and so then, then that becomes an easy way of doing this. Um, so, this is uh, in terms of the uh, essentially we then have the following matrices, the normal matrix that we talked of Zi plus F is equal to X. This was our financial one and instead of this now we also have the EI that is the energy plus the demand for energy is equal to the total G and that, then that could be the uh, way in which we could write this. Uh, so, Q is the vector of energy deliveries to the total final demand and G is the vector of the total energy consumption. So, we could operate it this way or we could operate it in the normal input output with the money terms and then make the calculation. So, just to give you, if you look at, you can look at the textbook by Miller and Blair, there are several examples of this. So, for instance, uh, there are these uh, three, sector, uh, three sectors and one uh, automobile sector. So, you have crude oil, uh, refined petroleum, electric power and then you have the, the, the crude oil uh, is going for refined petroleum sector, then it goes, some of it goes to the electric power sector. There is no final demand for the crude oil, if you add it up that comes to 10 million US dollars. Refined petroleum, uh, some of it is being used uh, <coughs> in the crude oil sector and some of it of course is going into this and, and so on. When you add it up, this is the total and then electric power, electricity going into each of these sectors Then the, uh, there is a final demand for automobile and, uh, and then this is the total output. And uh, one could then convert this in terms of the price and you can get the, in terms of BTU, this is the kind of um, matrix which then comes. So, it is basically dividing those money units by the prices and please remember in a situation, it is possible that prices uh, of energy to different sectors may be different and that can be also configured into this uh, framework. So, that is the uh, situation in terms of uh, looking at uh, the uh, examples or different kinds of examples where we take these different sectors, the energy sector and the automobile sector and then convert it into this. Um, we also, uh, I showed you earlier uh, an input output uh, table from the, um, uh, from the book, uh, textbook by, on input output analysis and a similar kind of input output table is shown here which is now a hybrid unit and uh, this hybrid unit uh, has uh, transactions millions of dollars for non-energy sector and in uh, quads or 10 raised to 15 BTU for the energy sector. So, you can see basically coal mining, oil natural gas, petroleum, utilities, gas utilities, all of these will be in BTU. The chemicals, agriculture, mining, transport and uh, communication, rest of economy are all going to be in um, the money terms 
and then we can make the, uh, if we know the prices, we can convert it into a money term uh, aspect and then do. And uh, <coughs> so we saw last time that uh, uh, numbers in terms of direct coefficients for 2003, please remember that as the economy changes, you will find that the coefficients also will change. And so when we talk about input output analysis, if we are taking fixed coefficients, that will be valid only for short term kinds of calculations. If you are looking at long term calculations and if the structure changes, it is quite likely that there will be very significant changes. Even when we compare, you can take this uh, uh, table uh, with the values and compare it with the 2003 coefficients and you will find that there are some changes in, in some of these coefficients. And over a longer period of time, you will see that these coefficients change quite significantly. For instance, the energy use for industry may decrease if there has been significant improvements in energy efficiency. And so that, those are, that's the way in which there's coefficients. And if you look at the total coefficients, now this is after we take that same, if you take this 2006 matrix that we had, Kate I minus A, take the inverse of that, that will give you the Leon TF inverse and you will find then that these coefficients, we, we talked about the diagonal coefficients being greater than 1 and you can remember, you if you remember the mm, uh, earlier in 2003, this value was lower than this, this is now almost 1.6 times and, and so on. So, this gives you an idea of how you can use this and then also that these things change. And that's just to show you another set of data, this is the 97 data and uh, you can clearly see when you take 97, 2003 and 2006, um, you can see quite clearly there are reasonable differences in all of this. And uh, so we will take an example, before we take that example, let me talk to you about the way in which this can be used to assess the impact of different kinds of possibilities for a particular sector. So this is a, one of the papers, uh, one of the research work done by one of our PhD students and you can see this paper, you can look it up in the energy journal. It's an integrated modeling framework for energy economy and emissions modeling and this is a case study for India. Uh, so, in this, if you see the approach that we had was, we essentially looked at uh, the emissions intensity. The emissions intensity is the emission per unit of GDP and we broke up the emission intensity into the difference in terms of the energy intensity of the GDP and the sectoral contribution to the GDP. So, typically what happens is in any in any country, the GDP comes from a whole set of different uh, sectors. So, if you look at it, we typically the most important sectors are industry, services and agriculture. And over a long period of time, if you look at India for instance over the last 10, 20 years, you will see that the share of agriculture in the GDP has been declining, share of services has been increasing, share of industry more or less remain constant, slight increases, slight decreases. So when we look at this, what has happened is that the share of services in the total GDP has been much higher than has grown and uh, as compared to the industry and industry share has declined a bit. Now, if we look at the energy requirement for industry and for the high energy intensive industries, that energy requirement is much higher per million rupees of value add as compared to something in the services sector. And uh, in the services sector, uh, at most you need something, the energy for the air conditioning and uh, space cooling. Um, but in industry, we are looking at manufacturing and transformations and so there is one much more energy intensive. So we can, the first thing is we did a decomposition analysis to see what is the share of, what is the breakup of the share uh, of the sectoral contribution 
and uh, the uh, how much of uh, energy intensity improvements and then we got ranges for these parameters. This is from the past and from that we started with a particular base year and then made projections for the target year. So, in, when we looked at the projections, we projected different possible scenarios for India in terms of industrial growth, services growth and agricultural growth. And based on that, we got the took an input output model uh, with some coefficients and then saw when we looked at this with the kind of investments required, we also built a detailed model for the power sector. And uh, for this kind of requirement, we estimated what is the demand for electricity, then saw what kind of new capacities have to be added. We tried to do an optimization model under different scenarios and using that we estimated what is the total demand for goods and services and then ran an input output um, method to model to see what will happen in different sectors. And this then gives us an idea to see, we then saw what is the impact of different household classes and the income and income distributions. And if you remember earlier, we talked about equality and inequality in incomes and we talked about the Gini coefficients. So, after looking at this kind of investments in the energy sector and whether how, how much is the government and private investment, based on that we try to see what will be the investment in the other sectors and as a result of that we try to see the impact on the income and income distribution. So, this is basically the method. It is a set of coupled models. There is an optimization model of the power sector, there is an input output model and then there is a decomposition analysis and different scenarios. So, under each of these scenarios, we first identified different drivers. We took a high services scenario, a high industry scenario and then we looked at the additional investment either if it is, if the investment which is made uh, we have been proportional uh, cutbacks from each of the sectors or the additional investment from cutbacks in welfare sector. And then in the power sector, we ran two scenarios where there is no restriction on emissions and we go for the minimum cost or if there are restrictions on emissions and then the initial investments may be higher. And based on that, we could actually see under these scenarios what happens in terms of the growth rates and the per capita income and interestingly, we can also see the difference in the Gini coefficient. So, for instance, uh, in this case, uh, in the case when we have uh, more restrictions on emissions, we see that it results in a slightly higher inequality. And this is just the numbers are not that important. You can look at the details in the paper, but basically it gives you an illustration of how input output analysis can be used to answer what if questions about the impacts of policy. Um, so, that is basically the idea of how this input output analysis can be used at the aggregate level for the energy sector.